Howdy y'all, this is Coop with Grill Gym Reviews and today we're gonna bake a cake, a cornbread cake, in a 45 pound cast iron plate. Let's do it. You know how I talk about versatility in the home gym? This is versatility. A plate you can lift with, a plate you can cook with. Now I know your grandma would make your cornbread in the oven or something like that, but on Grill Gym Reviews slash Garage Gym Reviews, we like to make it in a smoker. We're going to place the charcoal in the box. We're gonna heat it up, and we're gonna get the cast iron plate on, warm it up, mix. And by the way, the cornbread I'm making, I reached out to Mark Ripito from Starting Strength to get his homemade recipe. This is what he sent, so <laughs> I'm not kidding. This is serious. This is what he sent. This is what we're gonna to put together. Let's fire up the grill. Now that we got the grill fired up, we're gonna go inside and we're gonna make Mark Ripito's world famous cornbread. Let's do it. Now, I reached out to Mark Ripito. I said, Mark, what is your best family recipe for cornbread? Because I know he has a family recipe for chili, talks about it all the time, so I was like, he's gotta have one for cornbread. So, that's what we're gonna make. It involves crusties, not kidding. But It involves avocado oil and almond milk. I'm just kidding, it doesn't involve any of these. It involves, we're going heavy here. We got vegetable oil and we got whole milk. Drink your milk, do your five by fives, you'll get strong. Okay, so we're gonna pour this in here. We're gonna mix it up. Then we're gonna put it in the plate and we're gonna make some cornbread. Let's do it. All right, now that this bad boy is mixed, we're gonna go check the grill, get it all finished, and pour this in the plate. Let's do it. Cheers. Okay, it's time to put this bad boy on. We're sitting about 370 on the grates. We're about 325 or so on the in the dome, which is pretty good temp. I wanted to get it up to about 375, but I think this is a good place to start it. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Make sure you burp the grill so you don't die. You know how I talk about versatility in the home gym? This is versatility. A plate you can lift with, a plate you can cook with. Bravo. All right, let's put this bad boy on here. Oh, look at that, folks. It just fits perfectly. Okay, now we're gonna oil this bad boy up. I'm just gonna douse this sucker, so. Two hours later. Ooh, get that nice Rogue logo. There we go. Okay, it's time to pour. Yeah, I think that's gonna be great. All right, as you can see, it's in there like swimwear. This is gonna be absolutely beautiful, folks. I cannot wait to lift with a cornmeal plate. Okay, now that's all that's left, shut her down, watch the temp, keep it at 375. We'll be back for a toothpick test in about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes or so. I did do triple the amount that they were called for 20 minutes, so let's check her out. Burp it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah! That looks incredible. Okay, well, like my grandma always said, Mark Ripito's grandma always said, you have to do a toothpick test. I've been holding on this one for a while. We'll try her out. Well, gosh dang it. Okay, well, let's do my big toothpick. 
nothing came off. That's how you know, folks. Look at that. Not a gristle, not a driblet, not a droplet. There you go, Nemus. Okay, now we're gonna take this bad boy off. I've contemplated how to do this. We're gonna use vice grips. Make that a little bit tighter. There we go. Go on over here. Do not want to mess up the pie. This is all my family has to eat for the rest of the week, so this fails. A lot of luck. Okay, put these on just in case. This is a 45 pound plate, by the way, just so you know. Okay. Oh, there she is, folks. It doesn't get much more beautiful than that. That's incredible. Well, now I think we gotta turn it over, see what we got on the other side. All right, it's time to flip it over. We let it sit for a few minutes. Let's see how we did. Well, <laughs> looks like I need to get the spatula. Oh yeah, that one's stuck. <laughs> well folks, we learned a lesson here. And that is, Rogue didn't freaking pre-season it. Like, come on, Lodge Cast Iron seasons theirs. Ah, you think you'd pay so much for these, they'd pre-season them. Oh well. There goes my thumbnail. You know what? We're just gonna call it. Time of death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for real. All right, this this you know this isn't the best. You know, I'm definitely not gonna say this is the greatest cake I've ever made. However, it's definitely not the worst. We can see the little logo there. I'm I'm proud of our efforts. Now, just time to eat it. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. Grill Gym Reviews. We just made a cornbread cake and weight plate. Probably the first one ever made. Turned out okay. Lesson is, we need to make sure we pre-season it. Regardless, I think I'm gonna clean this up and use it. Perfect. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. If you like more content like this, don't subscribe because I probably won't ever do this again. However, if you'd like more content like we usually shoot, make sure you subscribe. See you next time. Peace. All right, this time on Grill Gym Reviews, we're going to cook an egg on a wake plate.